I'm Faisa Keir, Birkbeck's Academic Registrar, and I'm really delighted to welcome you to Birkbeck's virtual graduation, our first virtual graduation, and to take this opportunity to congratulate you on reaching this milestone in your studies. We know it has been an incredibly difficult year for most of you because of the global pandemic. I'm really pleased that you've made it here today to celebrate and mark your fantastic achievements alongside family, friends and of course your fellow students. We know that today will be different to your usual in-person graduation ceremony, but we have worked hard to ensure that it mirrors the spirit of them and we hope that you will feel it does. We'll also be hosting in-person celebratory events for you so that you can meet your classmates and lecturers once it's safe to do so. We'll let you know more about these at a later date. Before we start today's event, we have some housekeeping information for you. Please keep your microphone muted until the round of applause after each group's names are announced. We hope you'll take part in giving a big round of applause to celebrate our graduate successes. You should be able to change the screen and the device you're watching on today. If you can, we suggest putting your screen in presenter view to view all videos and live content in full screen. You can select gallery view if you want to see everyone in your virtual room, but this will make the videos appear smaller. And if you are watching on an iPad or an iPhone, you may need to scroll to another screen to see everyone in your group. We'd like to remind everyone that today's event has been recorded it is currently being live streamed on YouTube and the recording will also be available after the event. We'll start today's event with some messages before moving on to the awards. Thank you very much indeed for taking part today and we hope you enjoy it. Graduating students of 2020, Congratulations on attaining your degree, particularly given the circumstances in which you completed the last few months of your studies. Every student experience is unique, but I think everyone will remember 2020 as different. Whenever I attend University of London engagements, I'm constantly struck by the enthusiasm and energy that you display for your studies and the range and achievements of your non-academic activities. With the world facing challenges none of us could have envisaged a few short months ago, and at a pace that requires flexibility and innovation, the skills and knowledge that you have acquired while at university are needed now more than ever to help reshape the future for us all your institution will support you now and into the future in your endeavours. While you may be missing the formal graduation ceremony this year, I hope you will retain the friends, the experiences and the knowledge you gain during your studies. They will all be part of your foundation for the future. Once again, my congratulations and I wish you every success as you embark on the next stage of your lives. Welcome to this graduation ceremony, in which above all, we celebrate the achievements of you, our graduates. Those are the words with which I normally begin my speech at conventional graduation ceremonies, when we have perhaps half a dozen in-person ceremonies in the Senate House of the University of London. Today, I'm using those words as part of a, one of 18 graduation ceremonies which we're holding virtually this week, and all of which I'm doing live rather than as a taped pre-recording. Because I want to say to you in person, in so far as I can, how much Birkbeck values your achievements and applauds your achievements. A normal Birkbeck graduate in a normal year has to juggle their work, their family and their studies. But you have had to do much more than that. Perhaps there have been medical issues with yourself or your family. Perhaps there have been issues at work. And indeed, perhaps you've had difficulties in, at home in working, having to compete for the laptop 
or the kitchen table with your spouse and their work having to make sure that your family, your children, were able to be occupied while you were studying. And yet, you have overcome all these difficulties to graduate under these very special and difficult circumstances. I want to also thank the relatives and friends for their efforts, for helping you in the ways perhaps by our own perhaps looking after the children or allowing you access to the kitchen table or the laptop when they wanted to use it and work. And I have a message for our relatives and friends in addition to the thank you. And that is that Birkbeck is for everyone. You can get your revenge. You can seize control again of the kitchen table and the laptop by studying at Birkbeck. Thanks to the dedicated efforts of our staff, we will begin a number of courses for the very first time in January, in addition to our normal October start. So now is the time to sign up for those courses and you too can become a Birkbeck graduate. Of course, the dedicated efforts of all our staff have allowed you to finish your studies under these circumstances and to take your final examinations in order to achieve your aims. And this term, we are continuing with that, with a fully online service, except for the few laboratory courses that need face-to-face. -face. And that has allowed us to survive all the initial original government restrictions and further restrictions that have been announced recently and continue to provide the Birkbeck service. We have not asked you to travel across the country to be cooped up in halls of residence and not be able to return home. You are able, our graduates, our students are able to study in their own homes in a way that Birkbeck provides with an excellent service. And now you have joined the 197 year roll of Birkbeck graduates, many of them highly distinguished in their fields, including one today, Mara Laze, who we will celebrate her achievements in a moment. You will hear from the orator, Professor Joanna Burke, about her and from Marai herself about her involvement with Birkbeck. But you have a special place, graduates of 2020. You have graduated under enormous almost difficulty. Several years ago, when I went to a meeting of business leaders, and I was introduced as the head of Birkbeck. One of them said to me, when I see Birkbeck on a CV, I put it to the top of my pile, because those people have the, the commitment that I want in my business. You have demonstrated that commitment even more so this year. For all the years of your lives, it will remain with you that you graduated under these very difficult circumstances and employers and others will give you credit for that enormous achievement. On behalf of myself and all at Birkbeck, I salute your achievements and congratulate you. Hello. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dr. Tanya Sarusier, and I'm a senior lecturer in the Department of Criminology here at Birkbeck. Tonight, on behalf of me and all my colleagues, I want to say congratulations to the graduating criminology students of 2020. I know that when many of you started here three or four years ago, you're a little bit daunted and worried about the challenges ahead. And none of us could have foreseen that you would be finishing your degree um, in the current circumstances or having faced the obstacles of the last few months. I wanted to say that as staff, we would have loved to be able to be there and celebrate with you tonight, have a glass of wine, meet your family. Um, but the fact that we can't be doesn't mean that we're not incredibly proud and happy to have been able to share the last few years with you. You've all achieved so much and you should be very proud of yourselves and I hope wherever you are you can take the time to pause, reflect and celebrate tonight. And so from all of the staff in the Department of Criminology we want to say well done, good luck taking your degree forward into your new careers and please do stay in touch. Um, we have events with our alumni every year, we'll continue to do so, and we love to hear from you and find out how you're doing. Um, congratulations. Hello, my name is Professor Bill Barring in the Law School, and I want to uh, congratulate everybody from the Law School who is graduating today, and in particular my students. 
I'm really sorry that we can't be together personally face to face and in particular uh, meeting your families and friends and all the people who've helped you to the, your success today. Also want to wish everybody very great success in the future. Please stay in contact with me. If there's any way that I can help you, please let me know. Vice Chancellor, President and distinguished guests, I present the following graduates from the School of Law. With a postgraduate certificate in criminal law and criminal justice, Alex Stewart, Katie Trimble. With an LLM in criminal law and criminal justice, Uchena Akabogu, Jane Gloucester, Gemma Gocha, Rochelle James German, Sandrine Kamuzizi, Najib Khan, Susan Musa, Laura Auger, Makiba Parkinson, Jordina Walker. With a Master of Science in Criminology, Huda Bhatti, Elizabeth Hughes, Joanne Lunan. With the Bachelor of Science in Criminology and Criminal Justice, Alicia Alexandrova, Lauren Armstrong Terrett, Dweniqua Beard, Gabriella Bogdan, Joseph Brown, Jay Chapman, Pedro Correa Santos, Georgia Edwards, Laura Egabaka, Paris Falconer. You should now unmute your microphones and please join in applauding. Well done, everyone. Well done, everyone. <laughs> With the degree Bachelor of Science in Criminology and Criminal Justice, Elizabeth Farrell, Glenna Fembe, Andrea Fleischer, Faiza Haji, Felix Hamilton, Maram Kamoka, Sophia Khartoum, Ilinu Lee, Mashari McGregor, Alina Mikevica, Endurance Ogigo, Christina Ogranikova, Yusuf Osman, Poliseni Paraskevupulu, Claudia Stolk, Kered Williams, Mihaela Alina Zaharia. With the degree Master of Science in Global Criminology, Kamali Brown, Connie Hodgkinson Lahif, Daniel Mante, Precious Malanga, Vittoria Reggiani, Anas. Salami. Congratulations, everybody. Unmute your mics and please applaud each other's success. Congratulations.
With a diploma in higher education in law, Malika Benchike, Kara Cooper, Melinda Hornakshak. With the degree Bachelor, Bachelor of Law, LLB, Neil Abre, Muhammad Ahmed, Carl Ashenden, Elizabeth Babatunde, Nida Baig, Melissa Bibi, Clifford Buckley, Magila Camilo, Jean Caffein, Ronya Setinkaya, Mercy Chikukwa, Rodrigo Chinini Mojica, Amir Chowdhury, Prabal Chowdhury, Francis de la Cruz, Fidan Derin, Ilona Duro, Shoili Farin, Alexandra Gaynor, Mario Haddad, Wakas Hayat. My congratulations to all of you. Please unmute yourself and applaud yours and everybody else's success. Well done, everyone. With the degree Bachelor of Laws, LLB. Brenda Henderson, Nicholas Hurrigan, Patricia Krems, Robert Key, Andrew Leticia, Isabella Lockman, Xenia Mirella, Zoe North, Philippa North, Kazia. Ojukwu, Dalsi Orugbo, Muhammad Rabani, Alessandra Rodriguez Ramones, Fanane Sabahi, Darren Sexton, Famida Sultana, Rian Todd, Albert Wellrang, Ishani Wijewardana, Ekaterina Yameva. Well done, everyone. I congratulate you on your success. Please unmute your mics and applaud. Well done, guys. Well done. Well done. This has been an extremely challenging year for all of you, but it is a testament to your skills, knowledge, and resilience that you have made it to this graduation. We take great inspiration from your success. You are going out into the world that is full of many challenges, and we are confident that you will chart some of the new directions that this world needs. I wish you all the very best of luck. This concludes the presentation of graduates from the School of Law. I now hand over to my colleague. President, Vice Chancellor, graduates and graduands, guests and colleagues. Today, it is my great honor to welcome Marii Larisai to a college fellowship at Birkbeck University of London. If we are to end violence against women and girls, we need to create seismic shifts across social norms. 
So says Larry Sai, effectively calling for a revolution in feelings and beliefs, practices and politics. Larry Sai's entire career has been dedicated to seeing through such a revolution. She has a long history of working with women in BME communities, including, for example, helping to provide sheltered accommodation for refugee women in Camden and Hackney who had experienced violence. She has worked with London Women's Aid, Hackney's Women's Aid, and Violence Against Women Coalition, where she was co-chair and an EU-UN initiatives to end violence against women in the Western Balkans and Turkey. Crucially, until May last year, she was the executive director of IMCAN, the women's organization dedicated to preventing and responding to violence against black and ethnic minority girls and women. Larisai is passionate about gender justice and how gender is racialized. One of her slogans could be, gender work cannot be done without racial justice work. So what is Mary I. Larisai's background? Her parents, they came from Jamaica in the 1950s. She was born in Bethnal Green Hospital and went to infant school there. When she was six, she was taken to Jamaica and educated at Clarendon College High School on their beautiful campus in Chapelton. Larisai returned to the UK when she was 17 to take her A-levels at the city of East London College. This was followed by a stint at Howard University in the States where she studied psychology. Then she joined us here at Birkbeck to do the MA in Culture, diaspora and ethnicity. And Laris Psy speaks highly of Birkbeck and that MA program as being ideal for a queer woman of color. Crucial to Lara Psy's thinking is the concept of intersectionality. In other words, attention must be paid not simply to sex discrimination or racial prejudices, but to the compounding effects of race and gender. As Lara Sai puts it, black and lesbian women are not simply add-ons to a version of feminism premised on white, middle-class, cisgender women. There is no easy way to summarize just how influential Lara Sai has been. Her position as one of the great feminist leaders of our times has been marked by her ranking in the World Pride Power List. 2019, she was one of the world's 100 most influential people in gender policy. She's also been awarded an MBE for her work, but she is also a rock star of feminism. A number of us, including me, looked on in awe when during the 75th Golden Globe Awards 2018, she walked up the red carpet as the guest of Emma Watson of Harry Potter fame. The event was to draw attention to the hashtag Time's Up campaign against sexual harassment. And Lara Sai did it in true rock star style dressed in a black tuxedo and boots. But who is the person? She identifies as a lesbian. She's a mother, one daughter to, and one son. But I'm also told that she is a mother to many. If you start her talking about Afro-futurist literature, old school reggae, or the works of Alice Walker, I guarantee that you will be entranced for hours. Her friends call her a lioness, African Caribbean feminist warrior. She is wise, gentle, approachable. She is solidarity epitomized. Like her grandmother and mother before her, the urge to resist is in her blood. Now, of course, it is challenging living one's life as an activist, but Larisai contends that we dare to dream that we could have a safe, just, and equal world. And we can be crazy and courageous enough to create it together. 
Larisai is one of our most respected and loved alumni. And she takes her role seriously in being an ambassador to the college. We are deeply honored that she has agreed to become a fellow of Birkbeck. Thank you, Professor Burke, Vice Chancellor, President, Executive Dean, Birkbeck faculty members, graduates, guests, kinfolk. I greet you in the name of my ancestors. I'm honoured and humbled to be here today, albeit virtually. Huge congratulations to all the graduates. I studied at Birkbeck at a time when it wouldn't have been feasible for me to reduce my working hours or to leave my job, nor would I have wanted to. Birkbeck and the amazing humans that make this place possible gave me and others, including my sister friend, Dorette Jones, an academic lifeline. One that has made a difference in so many ways to my work, my activism, and to those around me, some of whom have gone on to study at Birkbeck. I'm deeply grateful especially to amazing teachers and thinkers such as Dr. Yasmin Narayan, Dr. Eddie Bruce Jones and Dr. Sarah Lamble. Birkbeck is special and in a year where we have seen and experienced hatred, brutality, widespread loss and devastation, where racial injustice and other inequities have been brought to the fore, in this year where we have also reaffirmed the power and necessity of emancipatory labour, I'm even more acutely aware of how important this institution is and what potential Birkbeck holds. When my African ancestors found themselves in the belly of slave ships, they must have thought that the world had ended, and in many ways it had. That I am here today with all of you is a testament to their resilience and their survival. Their spirit and determination lives on inside of me and in so many of us. As Maya Angelou said, I am the dream and hope of the slave. It is in honour of them, of my mother Pearl who passed away this year, of my kinfolk across the diaspora, my community of organisers and dreamers, my black queer communities, my extended family and trusted friends, my children Aikamara and Jared, their children, and seven generations into the future that I gratefully accept this honorary fellowship. Ashe, thank you. Congratulations to all of today's graduates. This is a big moment for you, for you individually, of course, but also for all of you together, knowing that another swathe of students has achieved their objectives and can now face the future confident of their skills. Congratulations too to the Congratulations too to the academic staff of Birkbeck who've seen you on your way to today's success so well. Of course, the world in which you're graduating has changed and we're all learning new ways to live and new ways to study. Well, we're coming to cherish some of the benefits of this inconvenience, better air quality, birdsong, but also more time for books, more silences. The world is not as noisy or as demanding as it once was. So there's more space for introspection about your life, your studies, and the ambitions you have for your place in the world. There's no better time for you to do this than now, when you've learned the habits of study, when you've developed the capacity to be alone with your thoughts, and the skill to seek out evidence and for whatever insights and propositions your studies have led to. Your mind and your temperament have been over the years prepared for just such challenges as this unexpected pandemic is throwing at us. You've already coped with many of the adjustments you need to make to your teaching, and they've been necessary and they've been successful. Now you're well placed to make changes to your lives and indeed to the world. This world, our world, is in great need of new thinking, new ways to organize itself, its patterns of living, its institutions. I invite you to step forward, not just to help those innovations on their way, but to originate them yourselves. The world's needs can be met by your own ambitions and skills. 
One day, you'll look back and see how out of every crisis, important changes, even revolutionary changes, emerge. We stand at just such a tipping point right now. And you, at the moment of your graduation, are among those ready and able to take up that challenge. So my congratulations again to all of you and good luck to a difficult but amazing future. Thank you. Class of 2020. Welcome to the Birkbeck Alumni Community. You might be in the UK or much further afield. It might be morning, afternoon or evening. Wherever you are right now, we as fellow members of the Birkbeck Alumni Community want to send our congratulations to you for what you've achieved. Completing a course at Birkbeck in normal circumstances is by no means an easy endeavour. So what you have accomplished is really something truly special. Today you are graduating and you should take a moment to reflect what a huge accomplishment this is. Completing your studies does not mean the end of your Birkbeck journey. You are joining a community of over 60,000 alumni in over 140 different countries. So no matter where you are in the world, you won't be far from a fellow Birkbeck graduate. There are lots of exciting events, activities and opportunities for you to stay connected with Birkbeck. Visit bbk.ac.uk forward slash alumni to find out more and update your contact details. We are proud to share this day with you. Have a wonderful time celebrating. Congratulations. 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 Class of 2020.